All right, guys, so go follow uh, Legacy on Twitter. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff they find. So this is about Aspen. We'll talk about it as we go in case you don't know the case at all. The neighbor stands. The neighbor stated that Crystal spent a few nights with at a nights with at his house. The neighbor stated that Crystal spent a few nights with at his house. Okay, I'm guessing the neighbor spent Crystal spent the night with the neighbor a couple of times. The last time the neighbor saw him at the home in Luxington was the week of Thanksgiving before Jumper's body was discovered in Orangeburg. Jumper is Crystal, by the way. The last time Jumper was seen alive was November 1st. That is Crystal. November 24th, during a wellness check, deputies discovered Jumper's body inside of her home in Orangeburg County. Aspen was not inside. November 25th, the public was asked to assist in locating Aspen. November 28th, an incident report revealed Jumper and Jetter, and Jetter, which is Aspen, uh, were living together and did not get along. Oh, Jetter, they're talking about uh, the, the father, not, not the daughter there. Was living together and did not get along. The report also said she's been, she's been shot. See that there's two different reports that I've heard, that she's been shot, and that she died of natural causes. So we're gonna go with both of them because we don't know for a 100% fact yet. On November 30th, officials identify Antar Jetter at as the one believed to be with Aspen uh, Jetter. So, yes, so, <coughs> as of right now, we were looking for the father. They did find his home, like, yesterday, I believe, and he was not there. Uh, they are looking for Crystal's car, which there is a picture of her car now, and the plate number is out. I wish I would have wrote it down before I made this video. And there's a plate number for the car also. So definitely go look for that. It's on my YouTube. Just put Aspen Jetter in, and it'll pop up all the videos that uh, I made of her. Because there should be, like, probably 10 or 20 now. Because there's been a lot of information that the police did not put out till yesterday. So, at least now there's some information out for this to try to find this little girl. Because she cannot speak or walk. So, finding her is very critical. The family wants to bring her back home. Not the Jetter family. Crystal's family wants to bring her... Which is the Jumper family. Wants to bring her back home. So, this is just a little bit of the timeline. Like, there's some... There's not too much missing from this timeline. So, it's it's pretty, pretty accurate. So, let's just see if we can find this little girl. Because it's just a sad, sad story. 